गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी यूट्यूब चैनल जस्ट इंफॉर्मेशन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे वी विल लर्न अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज फाइंड द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर बाय विच वन एट्टी मस्ट बी मल्टीप्लाइड सो दैट इट बिकम्स अ परफेक्ट स्क्वेर ऑल्सो फाइंड द स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ दिस परफेक्ट स्क्वेर सो ऑप्टेंड In this, they are saying the one eighty number one eighty must be multiplied with a number we don't know with the smallest number that should be a perfect square. After multiplying one eighty with that number, it should become perfect square. Perfect square. Perfect square. So, for that first we will do prime factorization of one eighty. Prime factorization. So here we will do that. So one eighty is divisible by two. Two ninety is one eighty. Now three three thirty is one eighty. Three ten is thirty. Now again two two five is ten. And last five one is five. So these are the factors of one eighty prime factors of number one eighty. Now in this first we will make the pairs. Now two into three into three into two into five. Now. We will arrange them two into two into three into three into five. Now pair of this, pair of this, but five doesn't have any pair. So five is the number which should be multiplied by one eighty, and hence it will become the perfect square. One eighty multiplied by five. Is equal to perfect square that is nine hundred nine hundred. So hence this is the perfect. This after multiply five is the smallest number. Five is the smallest number by which one eighty should be multiplied. Number. Now, after that they had said to remove, find out the square root of the perfect square obtained. So we have to find the square root of nine hundred. So the square root of nine hundred is thirty. After prime factorization, now the next question is next question second. Find the greatest number of four digits, which is a perfect square. So, first, we have to find the greatest number of four digit. That is a perfect. That should be a perfect square. Now, first, greatest number of four digit. D 
question we have to learn the square and square root this was easy question third question find the least number which is a perfect square and is divisible by 16 18 and 45 for finding for making this question easy, first we will multiply 16 into 18 into 45. That is 16 into 18 into 45 is equal to Sorry, the long division will be Long method will be with multiplying them and if we multiply them the answer comes 1 2 9 6 0 and after uh, making the prime factorization it will be very wrong. So now we will do the easy step. First we will find the LCM of 16, 18 and 45. LCM or prime factorization. Okay, prime factorization. Sixteen, eighteen, and forty five. So sixteen, eighteen, and forty five. We have to find a number which is divisible by all these three but there is no number so first we will take 3 and divide them from 18 and 45 3 is a prime number that's why 16 as it is 18 is on 6 and 45 is on now again we will take 3 and that is divisible by 6 and 50. 3 2 is 6 and 3 5 is 50. Now we will take 2. 2 8 is 16, 2 1 is 2 and 5 as it is. 2 4 is 8. 5 1 as we can leave there 1 because 1 is the last number we have to take. Now we can simplify it. Now 5. 5 as it is because it is not in the 2 table. 2 2 is 4. 5 as it is. 2 1 is 2. Now this is also over. Now 5. 5 1 is 5. Now we, have, we will write the factors. Three into three into two into two into two into two into five. Now we will make 
yes, three spear is there, two spear is there, again two spear is there, but fly doesn't have any pair. So, the list number that should be multiplied with 16, 18 and 45 is 5. This is not the list number. This is the number that should multiply with 16, 18, 45 to make it a perfect square. Now first we will multiply this 3 into 3, 2 into 2, 2 into 2 that is 7. Seven or uh, seven twenty, and we will multiply it by five. So the answer comes three six zero zero. So three six zero zero is the list number that will be multiplied. That is a perfect square of sixty. And is list number which is a perfect square divisible by 16, 18 and 45. And this square of 36, 3600 is 60. Now fourth question. Express 41 upon 3 as decimal form. For this, we have, in this question, we have to express this fraction 41 upon 3 in decimal form. Mal form. We have to divide this. For this, for bringing it in decimal form, we have to divide this. So, we will divide them. For 3 divided by 41. 3 ones are 3. Remainder 1, 1 carried. 3, 3 cha 9. Remainder 2. Point carried. 20. 3, 6 cha 18. Again 2 carried. Again this will go on and the process will be like that so hence the answer is 13.6 bar and after decimal points the number is repeating so it will be pure recurring non-terminating decimal the next question is now fifth question, if root 3 is equal to 1.732, find the value of root 75. First, we have to do factorization, prime factorization of 75 and the factors will come we have to find the value of root 75 with that factor so prime factorization is equal to So we can divide it by 3, 3, 2, 6, 3, 5, 25. Again 5 is a prime and we can simplify it. 
five five are doing different and now five ones are five. So the factors are three into five into five. Seventy five was in root, so this all will also in root. Now root three and five into five is equal to root. 25. We know the value square of 25 that is 5. So root 3 will as it is and into 5 will come because root 25 square was 5. Now we know the value of root 3 that is 1.732 and as it is multiplied by 5. So if we will multiply this so the answer will come. So after multiplying this, the answer comes. Therefore, the answer is eight point six or six zero six six zero. Therefore, root seventy five is equal to eight. Point six six zero. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand this. We will meet in next video with another chapter. Thank you for watching.